you need to know how to write equivalent fractions when you're adding two fractions that don't have the same denominator. For example, you want to add one-half and three-fourths. First thing you have to do is get a common denominator. I'm going to be showing you that process in another video. But right now, we need to know what are equivalent fractions. Well, 2 over 3 is equivalent to 4 over 6. If I multiply 2 over 3 by 2 over 2, 2 over 2 is equal to 1, and you can multiply anything by 1 and you don't change it. So this is very legal. So just double check. 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 2 is 4. So those are equivalent fractions. Now let's practice some of these. All right, same process. You want to divide 3 into 12, or just say 3 goes into 12 how many times? And the answer would be 4. So I'm going to multiply 2 thirds by 4 over 4. Again, 4 over 4 being equal to 1, so this makes it legal. Double check. 4 times 3 is 12. Yes, I picked the right number, so 4 times 2 is 8. Then you do the same procedure. 7 goes into 42 6 times. So I'm going to multiply 3 over 7 by 6 over 6. 6 times 3 is 18. 9 doesn't go into 15, so we have to think about this a little bit more. I can take the number 6 over 9 and I can reduce that. If I do, I'm going to get, let's see, 3 goes into both of those, 2 thirds. Now, 3 goes into 15, 5 times. So 2 times 5 is 10. Same thing with this problem. 20 doesn't go into 48. But if I reduce this fraction, kind of going to the left here, 5 goes into each of those, and I end up with 3 fourths. And again, 4 goes into 48 12 times. 3 times 12 is 36. 5 goes into 75 15 times. And 15 times 1 is 15. And 6 goes into 72, 12 times. So 5 times 12 is 60. All right, I'd like you to put this on pause and copy down these numbers. And once you're done, turn it back on and see how you did. All right, so what we have here, the fraction in green was 3 over 4 is equal to what over 24? Same procedure. 4 goes into 24 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18. 8 goes into 24 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, the fraction was 6 over 8 equals what over 12? And 8 doesn't go into 12, but you can take the fraction 6 over 8 and reduce it to 3 fourths. And then you do the same procedure. Okay, 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 goes into 54 6 times. 6 times 5 is 30. 3 goes into 120 40 times. 40 times 1 is 40. 12 goes into 65 times. 5 times 5 is 25. 6 goes into 48 8 times. 8 times 5 is 40. 7 goes into 140 20 times. 20 times 6 is 120. And 4 goes into 1,000 250 times. And 250 times 3 is 750. Another thing that you might want to do when you check this over is to make sure, like for example, 6 is less than 7, so your answer up here, 120, must be less than 140. Just kind of a little check. And up here we have 5 over 12. Well, 5 is less than 12. It's a little bit less than half of 12. So 25 should be a little bit less than half of 60. And it does check. This workforce product was funded by a grant awarded by the United States Department of Labor's Employment and Training Administration. The product was created by the grantee and does not necessarily reflect the official position of the U.S. Department of Labor. The Department of Labor makes no guarantees, warranties, or assurances of any kind, express or implied, with respect to such information, including any information on link sites and including, but not limited to, accuracy of the information or its completeness, timeliness, usefulness, adequacy, continued availability, or ownership.